now let's look around and find all the crap. Copy that. And be careful. Roost out. Do you know how many people I just killed, lady? You know how condescending you sound right now? Don't have a key for that. Oh, God! This guy's still here? Dude, you're Miss Church! Poor guy, he just wanted to go to church. Now he doesn't have a face to repent with. Treasure! Ornate necklace. Yeah, so it's important that you find all of the treasure in this game. The DLC for me came with a treasure map, which is, kind of takes the fun away. I really just wanted this cool bomber jacket for Leon and the sunglasses, but... I also got a treasure map included in it. Well, that's fine. But if the treasure is where it was in the old Resident Evil 4, then I really don't need the treasure map. However, that chest that I just unlocked wasn't in the original game, so that tells me there's probably going to be treasure in places I'm not expecting. For instance... Oh, wow, it even tells me where shotgun shells are. That's really cool. It tells you where everything is. So there's some shotgun shells over here. Nice. I probably would have missed that. Can I still do that cool jump out? Oh, lame. Leon needs to do this really cool flip. I wonder if I can cut a chicken. I can cut a chicken. And I find no, no satisfaction from that. Ah, but when I cut that chicken, the other chicken laid an egg for me. Eggs are a good little source of health that take up very little storage space. Another egg! Let's go! What do I have to do to make them lay the eggs? Do I have to kill your whole family? Give me the eggs! Alright, I think the way out is over here. If I remember correctly, this next area has this uh, like blue medallion side quest. That was a pretty unnecessary vault. Awesome. Ooh, no loading screen. That's fun. There it is. You see the windmill? Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. There should be a typewriter around here somewhere so I can save my progress. Yep, here we go. Don't see me. Just gonna sneak up on you real quick and stab you to death. It'll be quick. Promise. Suplex! So the good thing about this part of the game, from what I remember, is the enemies are few and far in between, and they're all spread out. So I don't really have to worry about getting jumped so much. There are the blue medallions. There's five on this little map. I think she knows I'm here. Yep. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Chicken dinner. Oh, crap. Run, 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 run. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the egg. Can I cut this? Nice! Gonna need that. Thank you! Ah, this must be the note that tells me what my treasure is. For the love of God, will somebody please get rid of the blue medallions those religious lunatics left hanging around? Those religious lunatics. So the, the blue medallions must be left over from the time when not everyone was in this cult. Because it seems like everyone in this village is part of the cult. Resources? That's weird. I wonder what that does. Do you hear that? There's like a beeping in there. I'll check it out when I'm done scouring the rest of this place. 
Kind of looks like a face. Two eyes and a big old mouth. Yeah, there's definitely a beeping noise. Oh, I remember these. Yep. The idea is to use those against your enemy, but I don't have anyone to use it on right now. So, just let her explode. Yellow herb. Those that have played Resident Evil know that if you combine a red, green, and yellow herb, you create a potion that um, heals you completely. But in this one, your health bar extends completely, or like slightly. So as you see in the bottom, right, my health bar goes to around where uh, 33 is, the number 33 for my, my ammo. And uh, when I take a potion that has green, red, and yellow herbs in it, it's gonna extend ever so slightly. And there's a lot more going on here than just blue medallions. There's sort of puzzles. Is this? Okay, this is one person. Oh, she sees me. So it seems like they have a charging animation. I was going to let her charge because I should probably get used to the charge and knowing how to time myself against it. But I didn't want to take the risk. I said, let's just shoot her again. Let's just keep shooting. What's that growling noise? Were there dogs in the last one? Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. I don't know what's happening, but go back up. Whoa. Boarhead guy. That's new. All right. I am going to... I am going to use a bigger weapon on this man. Keep reloading. Holy crap. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on in. Come on in, buddy. Got a present for you. Boom! Oh, God! How strong is he? Wow, that took... That took my... That took five shells. <laughs> He's stuck in the door. I love these stupid animations. Gotta get used to the hotkeys. Nighty night. Come on. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. I'm out. That's enough for me. No, no, get down. I keep doing that. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Have a nice fall! Come on up here. How are you still alive? Looks like fall damage does exist in this game for your enemies. <laughs> like how Leon grabs his side. Like, like that was just so exhausting for him. I wonder if he's having like a slight panic attack or something. He's just feeling some cramps. All right. Hey, that I consider that a successful sequence. I took no damage. I consider that a successful sequence. I defeated four Granados, uh, including one Granado that, you know, he was like a variation of um, Baghead.